you always fulfill it is man who fails you for you have never failed us so we thank you for that everlasting powerful covenant that speaketh for each and every one of us Lord. and all of us have failed you and let you down all of us have disappointed you all of us have done things that are not pleasing before you so we stand on your word in asking for forgiveness as a generation as a people as creation we ask for forgiveness and the best way that we can ask for forgiveness is standing upon your word lord god almighty because asking for mercy with our own words we cannot even speak and fathom every mistake every shorten of glory we've fallen every sin that we have committed before thee let your word speak for us lord for your word is powerful lord for you, God knows what word to put in the mouth of a man, that the man shall speak what is life. A man shall speak that what shall bring proclamation of fulfillment in abundance. So this evening, we are here before your presence, Lord. This moment, this time, we are asking for your forgiveness. According to Psalms chapter 51, Lord, we speak it and all of us need to speak the word of God out of our mouth. That's how powerful it is. We speak your word, Lord. Even when the world is laughing at the Bible, when people are saying that the Bible is not true, when some are even saying that the Bible is white, it was given to us African people, even when African people have come out here boldly to say that the Bible and the gospel of Jesus Christ is useless and nonsense, Father, we are standing upon your word because all of us, no matter what, for me as a young girl, I heard for my grandmother, the mother of my mother the, and my father, I heard the name of Jesus Christ, I, I heard that there is a God in heaven, and I heard that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for me and i heard that those who fear him and repent and surrender their lives to him they shall receive life and life internal life salvation even that when they die when he comes back they shall resurrect in him so i believe in that word i will not allow technology and internet the fact that google can put the bible online and everybody can read it i will not allow the world to make me believe that the bible is just like a book like any other book in the world i stand on your word lord and I believe in your word, Father. Even when men are trying to make us doubt your word, me, I believe. Say, I believe me as for me and my home. I believe. We believe on behalf of my mother and my father's home, on behalf of my grandparents, my brothers and sisters, my nieces and nephews, on behalf of my nation, Lord. I believe and I stand upon your word. So according to Psalms chapter 51, Lord, we speak this over our generation. We speak this over our nations. We speak this over our people, Lord. We speak this over each and every living creature and every living thing in the whole entire universe. For for Forgiveness and mercy we seek, we long and desire, Father my God. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out our transgressions, wash, our, wash away our iniquities, and cleanse us, Lord, from our sins. For we know that our transgression and our sins are always before, before us, Lord. And against you only have we sinned, Jehovah Nisi, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you judge surely father my god we were sinful at birth sinful from the time our mothers conceived us surely you desire truth in the inmost parts father my god you teach wisdom you teach us wisdom in the inmost place father my god cleanse all of us our nations our governments our people and the whole entire creation with high soap and we will be clean wash us father my god and we'll be whiter than snow let us hear joy and gladness let the bonds you have crushed rejoice god of abraham hide your face from our sins god blot out our iniquities Create in all of us a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steady fast spirit in our generation, within our nations, within our people, within our governments, within each and everything with breath to sustain us, Jehovah Nisi. Do not cast us away from your presence, Abba Father, please, Lord, or take your Holy Spirit away from us. Restore, you restore to us the joy of your salvation, that, that, 
what you have declared, proclaimed and given authority over and grant us a willing spirit to sustain us as a people, Lord. Then we will teach, teach transgressors your ways, Father my God, and sinners will turn back to you. Save us, O Lord, from blood guilt, O God, the God who saves us, Lord, and our tongues will sing of your righteousness, Lord. Oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth will declare your praises. Yes, Lord, you do not delight in sacrifices or we would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken heart, a broken and a contrite heart, Lord. Oh God, you will not despise this. In your good pleasure, make our generation, make this Make our government, our people, every living creature, Father my God. Make all of us, Lord. Make, Father my God, in your good pleasure, make us prosper. Make Zion prosper. Make us a Zion that will prosper. Make us a kingdom that will prosper. And build up walls of, of Jerusalem, Jehovah Nisi. They will be righteous offerings, sacrifices, whole burnt offerings to delight you, Jehovah Jireh. Then booze will be offered on your altar. Teach us, Heavenly Father. Forgive us and give us a clean start, Lord. A new, fresh start. A beginning where you will teach us how to pray, how to worship, how to spend time in your presence, Jehovah Nisi. How to seek you in spirit and in truth. Help us, Jehovah Nisi. Help us, God of Abraham. For we need you. We need your grace. We need your mercy. We need your forgiveness. We need you right now. We need your guidance in each and everything. We stand upon your word. Father, this evening we are here. We do not know what to do. The prayers that come out of our own mouth sometimes feel so powerless. The way we feel sometimes is hopeless. We are asking God on behalf of all of us as a people, as a creation, have mercy on us. Forgive us. Forgive us and create in all of us a clean heart. Create in all of us a heart of, of Jesus that is going to be loving, that is going to be kind. We need you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. So the first thing we stand on, the first scripture is Psalms 51. Because it's very important. We acknowledge that we are sinners. That we ain't worth anything. But by the grace and the mercy of the Lord, that the Lord chooses to love us nothing that we deserve, nothing that we earned, mercy and grace. And because of that mercy and grace, that covenant, that's why we ask for forgiveness. Amen. And I said today we are taking part, my brothers and sisters, so everybody, the, we are standing on the word of God, which means there is no specific scripture that you have to stand on. It means I want all of us to participate as I am praying here, be also praying according to different scriptures. With everything that we've been praying for the last five days, with everything that we've been seeing in the world that is happening, what scripture can you stand on? Because the Lord's word shall never be void, shall never be broken, shall never come in any fail in any way. It will stand the end of time. The word of God is power. It is guarantee already. And that's why the devil knows that if we would use the word of God to pray, he would not come up against us. That's why he wants us to pray in tongues. Because he knows our fake tongues that we have created in our own delusion, they don't do nothing. But the word of God can sound seen. It moves mountains. It changes a lot of things. So what scripture fits right now, write it in there in the comments. And I'll also continue reading according to the word of God. Amen. Because the word of God is what we should stand on. The word of God is what has birthed us. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with our father. Stand on that word. We are also going to stand on Psalms chapter 100. Sorry. Psalms 100. I just opened. I don't want to be picking scriptures. I just want to be opening according to just natural in spirit and in truth without thinking and manipulating it. Only Psalms 51. I wanted us 
to stand on it because we have to acknowledge that we are sinners because sometimes we feel like we are like the Lord owes us anything like we are anything we forget too much brother Elvin has put Psalms 91 that is one of my favorite scriptures as well we are going to stand now on Psalms 91 and wherever you are even if I, I don't read that script in your home speak it not just for you that's why I'm reading in we as a generation, as a whole people, as a whole entire creation. Because it's not just one nation that needs healing. We are suffering from the same demon infestations and powers of darkness throughout the whole entire world. The devil has bloated everybody. So we need deliverance, healing, and we need the word of God for everybody, not for one person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Oh, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us. We are His, we are His people, the sheep of His pasture, enter His gates with thanksgiving, and His courts with praise, give Him thanks to Him. And praise his name. For the Lord is good. And his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you and we lift you high. We exhort you. We enter your gates and approach your throne with all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Who else is the, the number one chief cornerstone? Even in this moment, who is our bodyguard and security in the night when we sleep, Lord? When the enemy wants to gloat over us and he's sending demons, warlocks, and witchcrafts to, to, to try and destroy us. Who else, Sharon, is protecting us? Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of marriage, the gift of wife and husband, the gift of the union of marriage, the gift and union of family, Lord. Some of us, we were born alone with just one child because you said family shall be an extension of a man and a woman coming together. The two became one and you extend children as inheritors. We thank you, Lord, that some of us would have been orphans. Some of us would have never known what love is. We thank you for that heaven on earth, which is a union of marriage and family. We thank you for our families, Lord. All of us, when we look at our children, we look at our children, our husbands, and the type of lives that we are living, no matter what, Lord, the joy that marriage and our children bring us. Father, we cannot lie. Life is not easy. We cannot lie. We face a lot of challenges but there is something about that place Lord it's always shining that's why we forgive one another and we live with one another in harmony and peace that's why we can't live with what we can't live without acknowledging the love we have for one another every day because it is you who formed a husband shall love his wife and a wife shall love the, the children that they bear together with that husband we thank you for the gift of our children we thank you for children we thank you, Lord, that we have little angels, that sometimes when we, we need somebody to just be open and direct to rebuke us, you speak out of the mouth of our 